All right, here we're working on the Skag 52 SWZT. I bought this mower new two years ago or something. And it's stable and it's great on hills, but I want it to be better. So what I did was, I bought two inch wheel spacers. And you're gonna say it's a little extreme, but I think it's an inch and a half to even get them to work, something like that. So, there's plenty of room for it. And you're gonna say, why on a walk by? Well, this thing, I have this on hills that it almost flips. And I mean, you're not supposed to do what I do with this. So before you even ask, you should not have this mower on banks that I have to stand way back. I've got them on video on YouTube. You can't tell how steep it is. I have taken it where it shouldn't go. I don't recommend doing that either. But just to make it more stable when I'm riding along for safety, I said, you know what, all that space wasted, I'm gonna widen this baby out. And that also will allow me, if I wanna go a wider, like bigger tires, not taller, cause I don't wanna mess up the cut, deck, height, nothing like that. I mean, you can readjust, but they do sell wheels that's wider. I would just have to paint them scag because, you know, I gotta keep it kind of pretty. Or buy the scab, scag, the hubcaps, <laughs> some little chrome. All right, well, let's do this. I have never taken a wheel off this machine. This machine is still under warranty. This should not void the warranty anyway. And hopefully, I got the right socket. Let's see what it does. Like butter. Like butter. I was gonna put you on a tripod, but I'm lazy. Not gonna lie. I really did not feel like doing that. I am the worst YouTuber on earth because I don't know, I'm just lazy when it comes to filming. It's hard work. Well, not hard, but it's annoying. All right. I made a video just a minute ago. That thing's still on there. About Copper Creek cuts. That's the impact you wanna use. Brad, <laughs> oh yeah, come off little baby. Come off little baby. Now, this could be a short video. See, it is offset, you see how the wheel, if they would offset them all the way to the inner, make it wider, then you wouldn't have it. Now let's see if these even work. Remember, I bought this for, it's four inch, it should slide right on. But I bought these, these go for a golf cart. But all these wheels are usually the same for mowers and stuff like that. Oh, this is ridiculous. I am not standing here doing that. I don't even know what size. I don't think that's the size of the outside mud anyway. I think it is. Let's see. Yeah, that's why I got this one over here. I forgot. All right, let's see. Live. So. Idiot. Anyway, let's see if I am an idiot. Nope, I'm not an idiot yet. All right, let's see how big of an idiot I am. Oh, yeah, I think if I get a, I might have to use a, what you would call a, a skinnier socket here. I'm gonna take it off because I'm not cross threading my dang studs. So I'm gonna put the, remember I see a lot of people putting these lug nuts. You see that tapered side? That goes this way, flat out. So that could be your little saying, flat out, man. Let's see. Nope, I'm gonna have to get a dang non-impact socket. So, I'm gonna stop this. I'm not gonna go looking for none because it needs to be a thinner wall. I'm gonna have to see that, see that crap. All right, let's see if this one works. I found this is a 3 h drive to a half inch extension. So I had to use a regular freaking socket. Now we're gonna see this together. Come on, bitch, you mother. Oh yeah, heck yeah. I hope that nut's going on there. <laughs> Sweet. Oh yeah, we're in there. We are in there. I'm just going to hand tighten it just to see if it'll go all the way. Come on, baby. And you know what? I don't have a deep wheel socket at this house, so let's hope. It's on there. No, it, this will tighten it up just fine. All right. I'm sure y'all don't want to see this whole thing, so... 
Let me be right back and I'll put them all three, the other three on. Be right back. There. All right, she's on there. Two inch spacer. It's gonna kind of look funny, of course, because there's gonna be a gap in there. Toro does that with one of their big mowers, their 60 inch. I noticed there's a big old gap. So this isn't something, oh my God, it looks crazy because other brands do it. Let's see what we can do. But they're all tightened on there. All right, that's what she looks like. It's kind of gaudy. I don't think it will hurt anything because it's just two inches. So I don't think it will put your 2,800 pumps in jeopardy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the little tires on it because you know I have seen people use double tires and everything on 2800 pumps I've seen lots of stuff I don't think it's a void my warranty Skag watches my videos most time so if it does tell me and no, I'll take it back off I don't think it how it could I mean all I did was widen it I mean one could argue extra tension out there or whatever but surely it's built <laughs> <laughs> that strong enough because it is going to have more leverage on it but there's nothing riding on it like a person it's only pulling so then you got to think about if the, is that two inch adding any undesirable tension but they put lip they put these same pumps and everything on large 60 inch errands zero turns and everything so it should be all right if it not I'm gonna be mad. Warranty does go out on this mower in 2021 this year. I'd hate to go out with a bang, but as you can see, there's plenty of more room. I can do like, well, yeah, I'm not hating it to see how close it was. So it ain't that big of a difference. It ain't like, oh my God. But it is a, uh, let me get my, I don't know if my GoPro 9 cut off or not. God dang it. I might date it so much because I'm still learning this new GoPro. Anyway, see, it's not that bad. Now let's go to the other side. And bam. I mean, it puts you out that far. I mean, we could measure it. Yeah, yeah, hold on a second. I got to take measure right here. And one of these freaking doors. All right, here's what we got. I mean, y'all can't see it. Let's see. We're just getting a guesstimation here. I mean, we're we're at an inch and a quarter somewhere through there. So it's pretty close. So this technically should be like three and a quarter over here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, three and a quarter. That's right on the money. Two inch to the exact. Huh. <laughs> I'm not hating it. I haven't drove it yet. I don't know if I'm gonna change the hydros first. You know, that will get them out of the way for me to change the hydros. I just wanna know if it, I don't know. I think I overthink everything. That should be fine. Cause you know, Skag, not on the SWZT, they make the SWZ and they put over in Europe dual wheels on those things. I don't know why we can't have those here and if the 2800 pumps can't handle it, put 30 ones on it. It's not hard, you just put the bigger ones on it. I think even the Cub Cadet walk behind that they put in DeWalt's name on too. It's got 30, and one of them's got 30 ones, 34. Anyway, this is the first I've seen of a walk behind with, cause they don't really need it, but man on these hillsides when I'm working by myself, I'm gonna appreciate the tires will be replaced soon. They're not completely gone, so. But as you can see, it's a big difference. All right, let me, I'm not gonna bore you with the impacting them on and putting these on. So what I'll do is I'll finish up there, do these real fast, then I'll make one final video. Down jack. Oh, that looks cool as crap. Actually, it'll help you keep tabs on stuff. Y'all know y'all want to see the width. The trim edge is way out there. Look at that. 
Oh man, she looks, she looks good. She looks good. I thought I wouldn't like it. Kind of looks meaner. <laughs> Skag had a wheel spacer they used to make for the turf tiger or something. And yeah, I don't know the size. They wouldn't, the dealer couldn't tell me because he said, give me the part number and I can tell you. I was like, yeah, I'll just order these. And look at them. I mean, that looks good, cuz. Look at those buttes. That's worn as they're worn. Look at this. I don't want to show the dirty garage, but. So if I'm standing on here, let's stand on the sulky. I don't think it's enough difference to hurt anything, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. And it still surpasses the cut edge. I mean, you still got plenty of room. See how far it sticks out past? Let's go to the ruler. What'd I do with it? We will now see how far ish, because it's hard to tell this crap. How far this thing almost lines up by about an we'll give it an inch, okay? You see what I'm saying? Like this tire and the guard has about an inch difference. So if you take, it's four and a half inches probably still out past. Let's see. This is just eyeball. I could set up a angle, uh, speed square and everything and find out, but this ain't that important. Uh, Y'all can't tell because if I move my camera, it's gonna look like it's five inches. It's gonna look like it's, you see what I'm saying? But as you can see, it's about the distance that, that's about an inch. Yeah. So you're looking, you take an inch off five and a half. You're talking still four and a half inches. Guesstimation. And over here, about the same, I'm sure. Yeah, you're real good over here. It don't matter on this side as much anyway. You could be flush with this side, but you're still three plus on four inches. Yep. I thought it looked stupid because go look up Toro 60 Pro Line or whatever. They 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 had to use spacers or something because theirs is real far out, but the tires are super wide. I don't want to go. I've changed my mind. I don't want no wider tires because if you didn't know any better, it would look fine. You know what else that would allow me to do right here? Are you noticing what's in my mind right now? I could mount a bigger battery on here now. Look at that. Because it was like right here, two inches in. So now I can put a regular battery on there and just drill a new hole for the bigger size battery. <laughs> well, that might be a, like a mod that I just invented. She's sturdy as a not. God, she looks good now. Maybe I'll get me some hub cats, huh? I am rolling. Riding dirt. You ain't rocking this mud sucker now. I don't have room to do it on my V-Ride 2, or I would. So you gotta leave that for the trim side. But the exit side, now if I get a 61, it comes with bigger tires, and you can still do it, but the trim side's sucking. Like I could go an inch and a half on each side, but I don't want to kill the trim side. Man, a trim side one, you can tell the trim side is in no way altered. I mean, sure, I'm gonna lose two inches of turning in between a bush or something, but I don't do much. This is my, this is the mower. This is the hillside mower, especially if I go solo this year. Yeah, I shouldn't have to do that. I wish they had warranty my handle up there. That thing drives me freaking crazy, man. But anyway, this video is God knows how long, but there you go. Do you want me to drive it outside? I don't see what the point would be. I mean, I can open the door and drive it, but <laughs> this ain't gonna, it's not a car, it's a mower. So it's gonna go turn, turn, because the width don't matter. It's gonna do the same thing unless you put dual wheels on it back here or something. 
might alter something. You know, put more tension during a turn on a hard surface, but a single wheel on each side shouldn't bother nothing. Now, when I get on a hillside or something, I'll try to make a video and I'll give you my honest impressions because I don't need to do that because physics and physics dictate this thing has a wider stance now. It was still good before. I'm not knocking it. Before it was fine. The pumps are underneath the frame, so that gives more weight down there. The engine is kind of centered just, but this mower is very good the top. It don't pop a wheelie all the time. So this is the, probably the best mower for the money on earth because you can get the Xmark and all these other brands, but theirs is like three and $4,000 more and I don't see the cut difference. Yeah, Skag's got them beat even with the, what do they call this deck now, a Hero? Yeah, I don't see it. And I love my Toro sitting back there, but we know that Toro and Xmark, same company. They put a bull, bull nose on the Toro version of it, but it's an Xmark. They bought the Xmark factory just to enter the commercial mowing business. So their decks are good. I'm not knocking Toro, but I'm telling you, mm, until you get a skag and you actually use it a little bit, you just won't get it. And you need to use it during different types of the seasons because different types of grass, different weather, everything. But here, I ain't found nothing that'll outcut it. And I've tried almost all brands. There's a few I'd like to try. 